kids, it's Gigi and Papa and we're, Cootsie and Cootsie. We're here to read you a book. We we're hoping Cootsie would stay for the book about Halloween. He might leave us. Oh, I there you know. go. All right. He won't wear the hat, but for a second. There you go. Happy Halloween. <laughs> All right, Mama, take it off. Okay. Our book today is Room on the Broom. Now, Cooch, you're going to have to sit down. Okay, love on the boo. Fine. Sit down, be a good boy while we read the book, okay? He likes Daddy to pet him. Pop all to pet him. All right, we're going to start the book. Room on the Broom by Julia Donaldson and pictures by Axel Scheffler. Let me show you the pictures. What do you think, Coach? Do you like it? No. Do you like Papa's hat? <laughs> Uh-oh, he's going to attack your feathers. The witch had a cat that, and a hat that was black and a braid down her back. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. <laughs> but how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly, it blew off the hat. Oh, no! <laughs> Down cried the witch as they flew to the ground. They sh searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Where's the hat, Coochie? Then out of the bushes, on thundering paws, there bounced a dog with a hat in his jaws. Wow! <laughs> He dropped it politely and eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat down firmly on her head, I'm a dog as keen as can be. Is there any room on the broom for a dog like me? <laughs> yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Whee! Over the fields and the forest they flew, the dog wagged his tail. <laughs> And the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud <laughs> and held on to her hat. But away blew the bow from her braid, just like that. Oh, no. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from the tree, with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with a bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low, then said, as the witch tied the braid in her bow, I'm a bird, as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Why, yes, cried the witch, so the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds, and the rivers they flew, the birds shrieked with glee, and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back and to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of her wand. Down cried the witch as they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. I miss my wand. Then all of a sudden, from out of the pond leaped a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely and then said with a croak as the witch t dried the wand on a fold of her cloak. Ribbit, I'm a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Ribbit. Yes, said the witch, so the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew, the frog jumped for joy. Ribbit! The broom snapped in two. Oh, no! Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. Mm. <laughs> the witch, witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud, and the witch heard a roar. That was scary and loud. Oh no! I am a dragon, as mean as can be, and the witch with French tie fries tastes delicious to me. No! cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon 
flew after her, breathing out fire. <laughs> help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew near with a glint in his eye and said, Just this once, I'll have witch without fry. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from <laughs> out of the ditch rose a horrible beast. <gasps> it was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird. Oh, no. And its terrible voice, when it started to speak, was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it strode from the ditch, and it and it said to the dragon, "Buzz off! That's my witch." Dragon. The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry. He sputtered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird, and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat, and who said the dog, and thank you, thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be on the dragon's inside. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, find something, everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily. The cat found a cone, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in, and the witch stirred them well. While, and while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Bickety, zickety, zackety, zoom! Then out rose a truly magnificent broom with seats. For the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a pool for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all climbed on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, whoosh they were gone. That was really cute, Papa. I like that. I did but too. It wasn't scary at all. Except for the dragon. He kind of scared me. He was kind of scary. Yeah, he's a little scary. Pootsie left in the middle. Brucey, yeah. did you want to be in the video? He's busy. He's busy. Doing cat <laughs> stuff. Hey, we love you guys, and we'll see you soon. Soon. Hey, guys. If you like this book, uh, subscribe to our channel. Also, uh, click a like on it. Tell your friends. <laughs> we even have cats. And check out my channel. I've got lots of other different kinds of videos up there. And uh, have a great day. I was hoping to get your hat. Oh, my shoulder. <laughs>